Welcome to DesignCon 2018. My name is Nikhil Shankar. I'm a product development engineer at TE Connectivity. And what we're demonstrating here today is a QSFPDD thermal system. So what we built is a thermal mock-up of a top of rack switch with 32 ports of QSFP double density in a 1RU tall 19 inch wide chassis. So QSFP double density is our next generation pluggable I.O. form factor. It's one of the many next generation pluggable I.O. form factors and it builds on the legacy product of QSFP which is essentially the same size as the QSFP double density but QSFP double density has twice the number of signal pairs where QSFP had four, we now have eight differential pairs in the QSFP double density. We're also able to double the speed of each of the, the lanes. So what that does is it takes a 100 gig QSFP module and we now have a 400 gig QSFP DD module. So with the increase in speed and the number of lanes, we're effectively doubling the power dissipation of each module. And that presents a significant thermal challenge to overcome. So what we're showing here is 32 ports, each displaying the temperature. And we have the capability of running these modules at different power levels. We have the capability of modifying the fan speeds. And what this gives is, you know, a customer or anyone looking at it, a, a realistic evaluation of how QSFPDD will perform in their system. So currently the modules are running at 12 watts per module. We also have ASIC chip heaters, which emulate the power dissipation of ASIC chips. And they are currently running at 220. I can up that power to maybe 320. And we have the, the temperatures displayed on the ASIC chips. We have the airflow number, which is uh, uh, around 100 CFM right now. And if we look at the temperatures again, we're looking at temperatures at around 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. So given that the ambient temperature is about 25 degrees, we're looking at a T rise of 15 degrees above ambient, which is, and given that our, our limit is a 25 degree T rise, we have a good 10 degrees of margin at 12 watts. So we can easily in a realistic, in a real system, get the power levels up to 15 watts or beyond and still be able to cool that effectively all of that is possible because of our a significant optimization process that we went through with designing the cage the heat sink and the heat sink clip to be able to dissipate that heat from these modules so now we're able to do 15 plus watt mo watt modules and that will, that will prove to be a significant differentiator for our product.